There we go. Looks like everything's recording now. So how's everybody doing today? Uh, did everybody come back or did they just say, hell with this crazy guy, I don't want to watch him, he's boring? That's probably the case, but you know, let's see what happens next. So we are gonna, oh well, we gotta talk about uh, you subscribing if you're new to this channel, which everybody probably is. Um, liking and hitting the bell icon so you know when things are coming out, other than having to, you know, work real hard to come back to the channel and find out what's going on. So our next movie is gonna be crazy here. This is an older one and it's actually fun. It came out in 1984. It's an American buddy cop action um, romantic film. There's a little romance into it, but a lot of people don't see it. <clears throat> now, this is one of those movies that you got to watch and pay attention to every bit of the time. Because there's new things always in this one. And even though it was made in 1984, it doesn't mean it's not worth your time. So we are talking about, what are we talking about? Oh, Beverly Hills Cop, the first one, 1984. Eddie Murphy plays the lead detective, Axel Foley, in this one. Turns out that, um, you know, this is a pretty good action film. Uh, he's, he's a Detroit police officer and ends up in uh, finding, finding a problem in L.A. So they... He ends up going to L.A. because his buddy got killed, and he, he goes on vacation to investigate the murder. And they do all kinds of chase scenes, action scenes. They do a lot of a lot of stuff in this, a lot of craziness in this movie so that, you know, they, they spend a lot of time tearing up vehicles and blowing stuff up and getting thrown through windows and... Now, Eddie Murphy did a real good job in this role as uh, Axel Foley. You know, this was 1984, so this was a good date movie, too. I always, I always like to go to the movies. When I can afford to do it, it's better. When I can't afford to do it, it's okay. Still like to go to the movies. You know, this was, you know, based on some of the, the older movies. It does, they do... Now, yeah, he got, uh, so he, he gets in trouble for going down to investigate, and Axel Foley gets arrested three or four times. Uh, they chase a guy called Victor Maitland, or, well, towards the end of the movie. Lots of gunfire, lots of gunplay, uh, lots of action. You should really, you should really go see this movie because they, they shoot, uh, Lots of people get shot and dead. They find drug smuggling in a bond and warehouse, bear bonds. There's all kinds of twists and turns in this thing. And they, they make fun of the L.A. art museums for putting junk on display as art. It's always fun. Yeah, apparently people buy it and put it in their houses. But I wouldn't want to know why you'd want to buy a table full of mannequins and... And and put those in the house. I guess that way you can have somebody to talk to. <laughs> I don't know. Put it in the front lobby of your business so that people can look at it and go, what the heck? Give them something to think about for a while. Maybe they'll think, remember you. I don't know. But L.A. is crazy. They're, that's why they call it Holly Weird since they're crazy down there. But he solves, he, he comes to, he goes to L.A. to try to solve his friend's uh, murder because they had bear bonds and, and he gets caught three or four times. Uh, when they figure out coffee grounds in the warehouse and they go through the, the, the Jew and the thing, they put the banana in the tailpipe. You know, everybody wonders if that would work and it actually would. Because if you can't get the exhaust out of the motor, it's, it's not going to bring in fresh air and it's going to run quit real quickly. Too much back pressure. It's just funny how they did this. Yeah, they they kind of go overboard with some of the stunts and gags in this movie. But, you know, for, for 1984, it, they did a real good job of 
of making this movie, and it's actually worth watching even today. It's probably better than some of the movies that are coming out now. And Axel Foley ends up staying in a high-priced hotel in Beverly Hills that he can't afford. So at the end, he they work it out so it's paid for and covered. And it's really kind of interesting how this all works out. And they they end up tearing a country club up, throwing um, throwing the bodyguard across the uh, buffet table, which has got a ice goose carved on put on there, melting, but it looks good. Uh, the, I don't remember if they get on a golf course or not, but he does all kinds of things with to get in places with um, uh, vitamins, you know, or pretending to be gay and getting convincing the lady to let him through. It's really a pretty funny movie. The the way they did the stake, way he did they did the stake out, losing the tail of the the Beverly Hills cops. It's really. I'd say this is really worth watching. I gave it five stars. So I give you some idea where it's at with me. And um, we're going to call this good. Hopefully you come back tomorrow or the next day and, you know, or next week, depending on where you're watching this, and, and actually watch all these movies. You may not be interested in these older movies. You want to know more about the newer ones because everybody just likes the new stuff. But the old movies, they have their merit too. So, you know, and if you're if you've never seen this movie, watching it for the first time would be exciting. It'll keep you on the edge of your seat. If you've seen it and like this kind of stuff, it'll keep you on the edge of your seat anyway. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully you come back. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Thank you.